Hey everyone, Mark from The Top Homeowner here, and today we have this problem that we're gonna fix, which is this loose uh, toilet paper holder. You can see this bracket is just about pulled out of this wall, and uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can fix this uh, in your house. Now, you might not have a toilet paper roll holder problem. You might have an issue with maybe a uh, towel holder, and this should be the same process to fix that as well. So first we'll need to just take this off here. This one is a little bit loose too. So you might have to fix that as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. Um, usually these are attached with the set screw underneath. Um, sometimes they're hex screws and other times they're just like a, a, just a slot for a flat blade screwdriver. So I'm gonna use this flat blade screwdriver on this one to unscrew the set screw underneath here. And I should be able to lift up from the bottom and pull this off. It looks like this one is just loose here. So I'm just gonna end up tightening this down and this one should be okay for now. If this is installed into a stud, then it's gonna be a pretty secure connection. It doesn't look like it's installed into a stud. It looks like it's actually installed into a wall anchor and it looks like it's not. Where is the stud? The stud is, <laughs> the stud is literally right next to it. So um, that's really unfortunate. We're not gonna go ahead and change that. We're just gonna leave it where it is. I think we'll be fine because we would have to past the drywall if we were to move it over a little bit. Um, but just so you know, the main thing that you wanna do if you're installing this from uh, scratch, if you're putting one of these in places, to at least put one of these on a stud because it's gonna give you a really uh, secure anchor point and then use the other side, put that into drywall. Typically, you don't wanna put both of these in drywall, but it is what it is. Okay, so now the one that we really wanna tackle here is this one. We'll do the same thing with this one. I'll unscrew this set screw underneath. And uh, it looks like they've had a problem with this one for a while now because you can see here they've had, they only have one screw holding this bracket in and on this one they've put three. Uh, so this has been a problem for a while. So let me unscrew these and we'll see what kind of anchors they've used. And we might not even be able to unscrew these if it's that loose in the drywall, we might just have to pull these out. I prefer not to have to pull these out because I don't want it to tear up the drywall any more than we have to. It sounds like it's turning in the wall. These two, the one in the middle here and the bottom one, are threaded, it looks like. I'll show you what that looks like here. But I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna unscrew this as I pull, because I, again, I don't wanna damage the drywall any more than I need to. So you can see here, there's a couple different types of anchors that they use to try and fix this. This is your typical, just your regular expansion anchor. These you just hammer into a hole in the wall. Um, you just drill a pilot hole with uh, a bit, depending on what size this is. The package will tell you what size bit to use. Um, if, uh, if you have one of these in place already, that loosen up, then the next step typically is what happens is you'll use one of these, uh, which can actually just uh, self-thread into the drywall. Since you already have a hole there, um, it makes this really easy to use as a second option. Um, what we're gonna do then is instead of replacing it with another anchor, um, we are going to actually use some toggle bolts. Now the advantage of these toggle bolts versus uh, these that just expand out uh, is that you're gonna have a uh, wider connection on the inside of the drywall, so it's gonna make it harder for that to pull out of the drywall. This is what's gonna go inside the wall. There's a spring here that will allow it to be closed when it goes into the hole, and then when it goes on the inside of the wall, it's gonna expand. That's gonna be the thing that holds everything in place on the wall. Uh, what you do is you'll take the bolt and you'll go ahead and screw this in uh, to the centerpiece here, uh, get it started, and then when you put it in the hole, you'll just fold this up and then stick it in. Now, on these holes, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to fit this in or not. I might have to drill this one hole a little bit bigger. Now, that, now you only have one shot to do this as well, right? So since this bolt is gonna to have to hold this plate on, we need to make sure this plate is on this bolt before we put this in the wall because we're not gonna be able to unscrew this once this is in the drywall. If we unscrew it, then this, uh, this toggle is actually gonna fall down inside the wall. So you need to make sure this plate is on uh, before you proceed with this step. So we've got the bracket here. I'm gonna stick the bolt through this. Then I'm gonna screw this into the toggle. Get it ready to go. And we'll do the same thing for this one. We're gonna stick the bolt through here and we're gonna install the toggle bolt. We need to compress both of these. And uh, when these expand, we don't want them to interfere with each other. So we need to make sure the fins are gonna go out from side to side since they're so close. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. All right, now as we tighten these down, we need to make sure there's tension on these screws. So that way it'll keep uh, the um, toggles from spinning on the inside. And we wanna go back and forth with this because otherwise we're gonna have one spin more than the other. And towards the end, you might just have to put some pressure behind the screw itself so it can tighten down. There you go. All right, just need to make sure that's straight, straight as possible here. And then we'll tighten it down one last time. You don't want to over tighten this, but you want to make sure it's tight. Now we just need to reverse the process. We'll hook this back over the top, tighten the set screw, nice and tight. And on this one, since it's just loose, we're just gonna tighten this down in the center, hopefully, and we're not gonna be able to do that. So with this one, we're gonna undo this. Now we need to go to the hardware store and buy some more hardware. Now, in addition to the normal toggle bolts, there's also these plastic uh, type toggle bolts. And what these are, basically you, you kind of do the same thing, only you fold these in here. And then uh, once they're in the wall, they'll expand and then you'll put the screw in and that tightens it and uh, it pushes it and pulls it actually up against the drywall. That's another thing that you can use instead of the metal toggle bolts, you can use the plastic ones and this is what it looks like here, uh, this package that I found. I don't know if you can see that there. But in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the job out with these metal toggle bolts. Um, these are gonna work just fine and I shouldn't have to redo the job again. All right, so since there's only one hole here and it was a pretty solid connection before, I'm gonna try and just get away with one toggle bolt uh, installing this in this hole. If it doesn't end up working, if it's not solid, then I should be able to loosen the toggle bolt and be able to pivot this out of the way so I can drill the next hole underneath it. I don't think I'm gonna need that though. You wanna make sure there's enough room in between uh, this bracket here and the toggle bolt itself because once this is in the wall, it needs to clear the wall to be able to expand. So you can't get it too tight or too close uh, up front because if you do, then you're not gonna be able to, uh, this isn't gonna be able to expand and you're gonna have to back it off. And since there's only one toggle bolt on this one, it makes it a lot easier to screw this in place. Again, we wanna tighten this down, but we don't want it to be too tight. Again, just slip it on the top, tighten down the set screw. You don't have to make these super tight. I've seen them break off if you put too much pressure on them. They're really just designed to prevent this from popping off the bottom. So other than a trip to the hardware store, because I didn't actually have enough materials to finish this job, it actually went pretty quick. So if you have this problem uh, in your own house, again, if it's with a toilet paper holder or if it's with a towel holder, uh, even a hand towel holder, usually it's the same process to have these attached to the wall. Um, it's a pretty quick and easy fix to get these back in place and get them solid. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate you subscribing to The Top Homeowner, where our goal is to help you become the best homeowner that you can possibly be. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.